Remember, it's a war zone out there. If you're looking to skip the grind for items in Fallout 76, visit the link in the description to go to AOA.com. Use code RALSAY at checkout for 3% off your order. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 weapon guide. Today we have the V63 Shock Baton. Pretty sure you can get this from the quest line, I believe. Um, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure the shock damage is baked into the weapon, so it does a little bit more damage than your standard baton, but it's a baton, so it's not that amazing but anyway we're gonna see how it does so the build is like a one-handed melee weapon build so we got all the gladiator perks with martial artist and incisor concentrated fire with refractor radical and rejuvenated field surgeon's rage number tenderizer nerd rage stabilized that shouldn't be there it should be nerd raged and uh, we're gonna run weapons artisan through hiker born survivor sneak escape artist adrenaline and dodgy bloody mess better critical serendipity class freaks thrust sheens and good with salt we have Intelligence, Charisma, Perception, Strength, taking with a team and Legendary Agility as the perks. We're not going to do Hack and Slash today because um, I'm not going to be using that. And um, base specials are 15, 3, 3, 3, 6, 11, and 15. And my mutations, the one that matter, is Adrenal Reaction and Twisted Muscles. But here's a little scroll through all the mutations. And I am wearing some uh, unyielding uh, AP Refresh Sentinels for Scout Armor. That should just about cover everything. Let's go see how it does. All right, and we're here at West Tech with the V63 Shock Baton. I'm going to sneak around just a little bit, but uh, I'm also going to sprint and do some power attacks to see the damage it can do. But uh, let's get to it. Well, that's what I declared out with the V63 shock baton. It's uh, it's it's okay. I mean, it's a one-handed melee weapon, so they all pretty much suck, except for the plasma cutter. Um, the damage isn't too terrible, but uh, your a plasma cutter will do much better than this thing, um, especially because you can re-roll the plasma cutter. This thing cannot be re-rolled, so. That's pretty shitty, but let's head inside. And we're inside a West Deck with the Shock Baton. Let's keep shocking people. And uh, I'm going to sneak around a little bit more, but let's do it. So yeah, it's not amazing. If a lower level got their hands on this, it'd be half decent. But I don't know what they're thinking about putting limb damage on there. That's just stupid. A completely useless fucking legendary. 
Um, they really should have put uh, faster swing speed. Faster swing speed would have made this serviceable, but it doesn't have that. So it's just kind of pathetic, really. Um, if you're going, I mean, low level, sure, they can use it, but if you really want to use a one-handed melee weapon, if you're further into the game, just use the plasma cutter. It's a million times better than this thing could ever dream to be. Um, I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, and it's a new, it's just a reskin with better damage, but, you know, it's interesting. It's just not good. Definitely not good, but I'm pretty sure you get this as a quest reward. I died because I don't have blocker on. Fuck. Okay, I died because blocker, can't put it on here. I'm just going to say, yeah, weapon's pretty garbage. Um, definitely not good. Um... I will test the Zweihanda soon. I imagine it's a lot better than this piece of garbage. Um, but yeah, this thing, it's its horrible. Definitely not worth anything. It's, it's just its bad. I bought it from somebody's camp because they had it for sale. It was like, I don't have it yet. I need to make a video on it. Um, and yeah, it's just... Uh, it really is just pretty dookie. If you have a differing opinion on that, list it in the comments, maybe. Tell me why I'm wrong and why you think it's good or why it's better or some hidden aspect about it that I don't see. But it's not good. And, you know, right, I'm one to two tapping everybody in here. But a good melee weapon will do that without even a power attack. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, it's not good. But let's go see how it does against the big man and hopefully I don't die. But let's do it. All right, and we're here at West Tech, or not West Tech, Swallowman's Pond with this, the uh, Shock Baton. Don't have high hopes for it. I'm not even full bloody, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I'm not going to do that. If he hits me a couple times, I'll die, and he will hit me because it's a melee weapon that won't kill him in, like, three hits. Probably take, like, five or six, I would say. I'm going to run up and try to... Oh, he's already pissed off. I'm going to try to get a power attack on him, but I probably won't be able to hit it. One, two... Shit. And look at that. Completely stopped me because I don't have blocker on because it's a gladiator build. So maybe you could take off gladiator. But I'm just going to say weapon is dog shit. Awful. Um, totally not worth anything. Just not good, really. We're going to try this again. If I die again, we're going to end the video off. And just this will be the first time ever in my history of these videos where... I couldn't kill the behemoth with it because I kept dying. I mean, I'm sure you could if you just kept taking stim packs and weren't bloodied, but uh, no, no, I'm not going to do that, and I, I don't want to go through all that bullshit to make this garbage weapon seem any better than it really is. It's pretty bad. See, look, he's already back hitting me like it's Mortal Kombat or something. Um, so I'm just going to jump around, try to get him. We're trying. Oh, he's stomping me, staggering me. He blocked that one. He's gonna die this time, I feel it. If I could stop swimming and being staggered. Fucking poor redesigned game. Look at that. And he's done. Yeah, okay. So this thing is a piece of shit. Um, horrible. Yeah, I wouldn't wipe my ass with this. Pretty bad. So, that's the shock baton. I don't like it. I don't mean to be negative, but yeah, it's pretty awful. Um, but yeah, guys, peace out. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, don't keep your eyes peeled for this thing, because it's a turd. It's better use would be as a fucking dildo. All right, peace out.